we will start by creating a simple coolest with a single step that will only contain the intensity of a group of spotlights. To do this, we need to select the spotlights, set their intensity, then press record, keyboard shortcut, R, and finally click in the desired location in the coolest grid view. We can now press clear to empty the programmer and rename this coolest. The HTP level parameter allows us to control the intensity of our spotlights. This parameter can be assigned to a virtual fader, or to a MIDI or DMX input. Now, let's create a conductor. I select my fronts, set their intensity, and choose a color with my color picker. I can also select my face and light it at 25%. Remember that you can access all current commands in the programmer via the multiple encoders window. This view also allows us to expand our face command to fine tune our settings. I save my cue by pressing record, keyboard shortcut R, and then clicking on a new coolest. I can clear my programmer and go to my coolest to see the result. Since my coolest is a conductor, I choose to use its tracking option. I want it to return to its first step when we reach the end, so I activate the loop option. For my second step, I will add the pars at 50% and change the color of our fronts. I save my second step by pressing record and clicking on my coolest. I can create my third step with the sunstrips in the same way. We now have a three-step lighting conductor. I can modify the transition times in each cue or in each command. The go action of my coolest allows me to chain the steps one after the other. You can modify the content of a queue directly from the inspector, but you can also load the content of this queue into the programmer to make your changes live. To do this, you need to click on Load in the actions of the desired queue. The content of the queue is now loaded into the programmer, and the commands can be edited. Once the modifications are made, you can replace or merge the commands in the existing queue with the action buttons. You can also create a queue before or after the selected queue. It is possible to use coolest in palette mode. A palette is a coolest that contains a queue per preset for a given group. This allows you to call a preset for a group while keeping the programmer free. For the example, I will import the color presets from the shared data folder available on the Blinder Kitten website. We will create a palette with these colors for our group 3 by going to the Assistant. In the Palette Maker section, we will enter the group number we want, the number of the first and last preset of our palette, and a timing preset number to apply to all our cues. When we press Create Palette, the Assistant creates the requested coolest. We can use this coolest to apply live values to our spotlights without using the programmer. Since we specified a timing preset number, we can create it and change the timings of our palette. 